Oh, this beautiful, repentant woman, bathing the feet of Jesus with her tears. Now, I'm going to tell you something. What she is doing in today's gospel, I try to do every single day. Maybe not in as spectacular a way as she's doing here today, but I love repentance. Oh, I love repenting before the Lord. A little while ago, I was reading a, a mystic, and she reports that the Lord Jesus said to her something along the lines of because she would often spend time in repentance and feel bad about how much she was repenting. And she reported the Lord saying to her something like, enjoy the sweetness of repentance. Because when repentance is done properly with a, with a knowledge of how good God is and with a knowledge of our wonderful dignity as children of God, there is a sweetness to repentance. And that's why, again, for me, I love to repent on a daily basis, oftentimes, many times throughout the day. I'll just, I'll talk the Lord's ear off. And, you know, years ago, I remember I was talking the Lord's ear off. I forget what it was about, but I was just in the habit of just talking a lot to the Lord. And at one point I said to the Lord, I said, Lord, I must be getting really annoying. And I really honestly felt the Lord saying to me, you could never be annoying to me because I love you so much. And it's like I felt the Lord gave me carte blanche. Talk to me as much as you want. You'll never be annoying. So with my repentance, I love repenting to the Lord. And I'll go on. Like I'll say, Lord, I'm sorry for being so pathetic. Lord, I wish I would have never, ever offended you in any way in my whole life. I wish I was perfect. You deserve, you know, perfection. You deserve holiness. And I'll just repent and repent. And, and there's a sweetness to it. Now, the thing about repenting before the Lord like this, again, if it's done properly, you know God's love. It's not done out of a, I don't know what, like a, 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 a fearful guilt and, and, and you know, self-loathing. No, it's done with the freedom of the children of God. But when we repent like this, it's delightful, there's a sweetness to it, but at one point you'll know this the Lord saying to you, okay, that's enough. That's enough. It's kind of like if you have a friend and maybe your friend was kind of in a bad mood and, you know, slight at you in some way, and the next time you see your friend, your friend starts by saying, ah, listen, I'm really sorry about how I spoke to you the other day, I was in a bad mood. And you're like, that's cool, I forgive you. Now imagine your friend kind of goes on and on, oh, and I'm so sorry, and, I'm, and you're like, hey, can we talk about something else? Let's talk about the weather. Let's talk about the hockey game last night. I told you, I forgive you. Let's, let, you know, let's talk about something else. And so too, I find, like I like to start a prayer time, especially if it's just kind of a you know, spontaneous time with the Lord praying. I like to start with, with just that repentance, getting that off of my chest. But again, within a, a short time, I kind of feel like the Lord's saying, okay, that's enough. Because the thing the Lord really loves is he loves our gratitude when we're just kind of delighting and, and just how good he is and his blessings and all that. He prefers that we spend a lot of time in gratitude than constantly repenting. But repentance is important, it's sweet, and we should love repenting. Now, I call it hot potato spirituality. You remember the hot potato game? You, you heat up a, a potato super, you know, burning hot, and the idea is you throw it to someone. And the way our hands are, oh, we're wonderfully made, fearfully and wonderfully made, Scripture says. The way our hands are is you can catch a potato and throw it to someone else and you won't burn your hands. And so that's the game. Someone throws you a potato, you catch it, poof, right, as, soon as, it as soon as it hits your hands, you throw it to someone else. And so too, if you start feeling guilty about something and feeling bad about something, you know, how you are, don't hang on to it, repent joyfully repent as a child of God to the Lord. Tell the Lord your story. He's with you always. You don't have to, to, to phone him and wait for the phone to ring four or five times. There's never an answering machine. He's always with you, ready to listen. He longs for you to pour out your heart to him any moment of the day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There's never a moment when the Lord is not available. So again, if you're kind of feeling guilty about something or bad about something, just tell the Lord, Lord, I'm sorry, I repent. And so hot potato, don't wait. And, and it, while I'm on the topic of hot potato spirituality, same thing, forgiveness. Someone, someone hurts you in some way, don't wait. Re forgive them. Right away, forgive. You're driving along, someone cuts you off, forgive them right away. And again, it's, 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 it, can, it can become a habit. Like when we just make the decision, I'm not harboring resentment and grudges against people anymore, forgive right away. Someone throws a hot potato at you, throw it away. I forgive them. Bless them, Lord. 
You know, and also, when we're feeling, you know, angry with, with someone, when you're, when you're feeling angry with someone, the thing to do is start praying for them right away. That's another beautiful habit, another hot potato thing. I have people in my life I love dearly, but sometimes they annoy me and sometimes they even anger me. And if I find I'm randomly kind of feeling angry or feeling anger towards someone I love, I assume it's the devil that's bugging that person. Because I've learned, and in, in exorcists talk about this, when the devil's attacking someone, there's a bit of a black hole, and the devil's work kind of su can suck other people into the attack. It's kind of scary stuff. So if I kind of feel an anger towards someone, I assume the devil's attacking the person, and I immediately say, oh, Lord, oh, help him. Help him. Lord, have mercy on him. I assume he's under attack. I, maybe he's not, but it's better than just being feeling angry towards the person. I start praying. I start, if I feel anger towards someone, start praying. Hot potato, right away. Just start praying for the person. My go-to prayer is a Hail Mary. I love praying Hail Marys. Anytime something comes up, my typical prayer, Hail Mary, say a Hail Mary for the person. But again, we can't let things stick to us that are not of God. We're supposed to be enveloped in the presence of God and nothing else. And again, a big part of that is living a life of repentance, living a life of forgiveness, and living a life of blessing everyone around us.